All right, hi everybody. Ryan back again here today uh, out here in the shop. Uh, we've had these crazy monsoon, you know, torrential downpour rains coming through up here in Northeast Ohio here for uh, in mid uh, July, which is not typical for us. So usually this is when it kind of dries out. So uh, I was actually cleaning out my my truck, my T660, uh, getting it ready. I got to do some work on it this week and next week. Going to get ready to put it on the market. Um, as I said before. I got a large backlog of uh, video topics that I had uh, wanted to put out, you know, during my time on the road, but it just didn't happen for one reason or another. We got busy, um, so I've got about 20, 25 video ideas that I had written in my uh, notebook that, um, you know, from viewers and also ideas of myself that I just never got done. So uh, today I was going to go over one of those. Like I said, as I was cleaning my truck out. I was taking out all my safety gear that uh, some sites, uh, some shippers, receivers require. Um, and, you know, in my new business uh, with uh, being on site, uh, you know, maintenance, uh, mechanical, you know, repair service, um, some of those sites also re uh, require this type of uh, safety gear. So, um, so I got it all in like a little a group here and I uh, was going to talk about that a little bit because these things can cost you money or, you know, you need you need to have this stuff to maximize your profits um, to be able to take any load out there because I've always been a guy like I want to do anything like the Boy Scouts always be prepared you know I want to have anything and everything you know if I want to be able to go get this load I want to have when I call this uh, you know this broker or this agent with Landstar whoever you're with um, I want to be able to take that load you know I want to make sure I have it, be prepared and have everything so that way I'm more flexible more nimble and I can take those higher paying loads for whatever, you know, you know, sometimes they pay more because a lot of people don't have all this gear. So, um, so I've got everything here and, uh, before I put it into my service truck and it gets lost in the abyss, I'm going to go ahead and do this video real quick here. So, um, I've got one, two, three, four, six or seven items here. Some of them you guys probably have, some of you may not have, uh, so we'll get right into it. So first thing, is a uh, hard hat so um, I do a fluorescent uh, high vis full brim hard hat uh, because in some places some sites if you have a high visibility you know uh, reflective hard hat you don't have to wear the vest so so that's why I, I, I go with the full brim you know uh, reflective type hard hat um, tell you a short story uh, when I was a company driver with uh, Snyder National about um, I think it was like 2016 I um, actually went to a uh, paper mill down in Mississippi on the west side of Mississippi. I can't even I can't remember the town that it was at. And I went in there. I was supposed to do a uh, drop and hook, drop and hook. Uh, like I said as a company driver, drop and hook pickup uh, load in there. And I didn't have a hard hat with me. I don't. I'd only been with them for probably three or four months with Snyder. And uh, a hard hat was not uh, on our required list of equipment to have in the truck. Um, so. I didn't have one with me because I never really did think about it that I really wouldn't need it. So I went to this place and they would not let me on site because I did not have a hard hat. And meanwhile, like when I walked into their office, they have like six hard hats, you know, up on the wall behind them that they, they wouldn't loan me one. I mean, and they said, oh, there's a tractor supply about 20 miles up the road. Um, so I was like, I've got a trailer and, and they wouldn't, I asked them, can I drop my trailer? And Bob said, oh no, you can't drop your trailer out there. So uh, I actually called Snyder, you know, uh, after hours and all that, and I was down there for three or four hours trying to get this figured out, and then finally they just took the load off of me, and then they sent me over to Louisiana, and I got to that place, by, and like when I was en route, they called me and said that load was canceled, and then they sent me even farther. So, I mean, I was still getting paid, but uh, I was trying to get back up home, you know, because I was kind of getting towards the end of my, my uh, six-day cycle, because I did a six and three with them as a company driver. You know, and uh, so I was really getting, I think I was actually at a day or two longer because of all that nonsense. So, um, yeah, keep a hard hat in your truck because uh, you never know. So, uh, next thing, which most of you all probably have, I think some drivers, especially at Snyder, you guys probably sleep in this thing, um, your reflective vest. So, keep that in there as well. But I think probably everybody pretty well knows that for the most part. So, like I said, some of you guys probably sleep in that. <laughs> Uh, safety glasses, uh, keep a set of safety glasses, a lot of places require those, um, so those as well. And 
face mask or face coverings. I mean, y'all living in the uh, the COVID aftermath world or whatever. Um, so, yeah, some places are like, I know in Ohio it's kind of became a free state for the most part. Uh, so they're kind of giving up on it. But a lot of places kind of refuse to give up on the mask thing. So um, you don't want to get turned away because of a stupid mask. So, so keep that in the truck as well. And... This is something that actually most uh, like refineries and stuff, they used to give to you or let you loan to you and a lot of chemical plants. And this is the uh, fire resistant uh, clothing. So I've got a nice set of fire Carhartt FR uh, coveralls here. Put that up in there, a nice little FR. And uh, it's rated the uh, 2112 Cat 2 and all that. I got these off of Amazon. Uh, you know, full body coveralls. Uh, I was gonna do. I did, actually did a load out of uh, back in March, out of uh, Portland, or actually it was in um, Vancouver, Washington, uh, right across the river there from Portland, going down to Louisiana, down by Gizmar or Baton Rouge or someplace down there. I can't remember. Uh, but they actually acquired this. Like I said, most of the places I used to deal with, you know, pre 2020. They used to let like loan them out to you. They used to give them to you, but that those days are far behind us. So now, you got to buy your own. So um, I bought these off of Amazon for like a hundred and ten dollars or something. And now, like if I'm welding underneath something and getting another piece of some equipment welding, they're cutting or whatever. It'd be nice to put on so I don't get burned as bad so as uh, as I have in the past. So um, I would highly recommend buying a set of these because, like I said, these now and this stuff's not going to go. This COVID stuff. Uh, like I said, these places just refuse. It's not going to go away anytime soon. I see this for the next five to ten years, and then whatever comes down the pipe after this, whatever they, whatever's cooked up, um, they're just they're not going to let any, anything that touches your skin anymore. I mean, in my opinion, they're not going to loan you this stuff anymore. So you're better off to get your own. Um, anything that touches your body, they're not going to let you. Most places, what I've heard, they're not going to loan it to you anymore. Let you use it. So you got to have your own in your truck. So. And like I said, I actually, when I booked this load for this, the agent told me I was gonna have to, like up front that I was gonna have to buy it. Um, she's like, oh, there's a place that's like 20 miles down the road, but I booked this load like two weeks out. Um, and I was like, I don't wanna be trying to go to a store, you know, with a 53 foot trailer and truck and all that, trying to pull into a place or figure out what's out and you get lost. So um, I ordered it up front and I actually negotiated like, hey, can you give me a hundred bucks on the 100% uh, side of the, you know, the freight bill? Um, so that way it kind of helps pay for it a little bit. So I mean, in some cases you can negotiate that since it's extra stuff you got to buy out of your pocket now. But then once you got it, you got it. So, um, so I'd highly recommend buying some type of uh, FR resistant, uh, you know, uh, just get the full coveralls, I guess, for whatever size you need. Uh, and I guess the last thing, or there's two more things, is a uh, escape respirator. So a lot of the places you go to, the uh, chemical places, refineries, They've got the vending machines out front, and I, I, that's where I actually bought this one. Was down in Louisiana the la that last trip um, that I was on down there out of Portland, um, and they had a, like I said, they had a vending machine out there, and this was I think it was twenty fifteen or twenty bucks for this. Uh, there's two different ones as far as uh, Honeywell is concerned. That that is the manufacturer of this model. Uh, this there's seventy nine hundred series. This is a seventy nine hundred two, and so looking at the little book here. So the 7902, this one is good for chlorines, basically. Uh, chlorine dioxide, chlorine, hydrogen chloride, hydrogen fluoride, hydrogen sulfide, sulfur dioxide. Um, then there's a 7904 model that's good for, for ammonia. So, so there's two different ones. So, I mean, if you have the 7902 and you go into a place that deals with ammonias, it's not going to help you. And they may look at it and turn you away, but one, like I said, once you have it, these are good for a little while. Um, so I mean, they're not too expensive. So I mean, I'll keep this one in my service truck. You know, if I ever go up to one of the places in one of the refineries or something in Cleveland or chemical plants, um, I've already got this guy. So then uh, you can actually buy the 7904. They have them on Amazon, internet, whatever, whatever your your poison is. Um, they are available and they're not that expensive. But like I said, most of the places it seems like they have the vending machines where they have this type of safety gear. But like I said, with the the fire resistant stuff, you're kind of SOL on that. Um, 
if you don't have it prior. So, and um, like I said, I'm not one that I like to be running around at uh, little stores and stuff with a truck and trailer and, and trying to, you know, purchase something just like with that hard hat deal I was telling you about. So, all right. And last but not least uh, would be, in my, in my book, kind of common sense. Uh, the last thing you're gonna need is a set of steel toed boots and a long pair of pants and a long sleeve shirt because you never know. So, I mean, a lot of these places you go to steel mill or chemical plant, uh, they're not going to let you in in a um, shorts and sandals or whatever you're wearing. So, um, so keep that in mind as well. So, so that way it's not a big scare, you know, or a big issue when you roll in there and you're wearing your shorts and sandals and all that. So, so I always kept a, uh, when I was in the truck, I always kept a long sleeve shirt, long pants, and a pair of steel toed boots, which I usually wear in steel toed boots most of the time anyways, but, um, but uh, so that's just something else to keep in mind as well. So, so that's that. Um, like I said, it's this safety stuff. I mean, it is what it is. Um, you know, it's more important to me. I mean, it can cost you money. I mean, you may not be able to, there could be a high paying load. And if you don't have that equipment in your truck, I mean, beforehand, they could turn you away or you're late for your appointment or it could, you know, just turn into a big disaster. So, I mean, best rule of thumb is get this stuff, get it in your truck and all that. And that way you're, you're flexible. Like I said, uh, and just the, I did a video a while back about having different credentials, like your Twit card, hazmat, um, you know, and all that good stuff, uh, doubles and triples. Um, this, the, it's not hard stuff to get, you know, it's not expensive, but, and, and that stuff can help you make more money. I mean, you might be at a place and there's, you know, coming out of the, the West Coast, it might be a $4,000 load, but if you have this fire resistant uh, suit here, uh, it might be a $7,000 load, you know, so it's really, it's really worth it just to have everything you can, you know, and like I said, I, I talked about that before in that last, that video about having those credentials in the military when, when the way I was brought up in the military was like, you know, when, when you have an opportunity to get some type of qualification or a credential, just go ahead and get it because it only makes you that much better and that much more marketable. And um, like I said, you, you, you may be able to, you might go from a $4,000 load to a six or $7,000 load doing the same mileage just because you have a twit card or you have a fire resistant coveralls or, you know, whatever. So um, I highly recommend getting that stuff. And like I said, this is one of those things I was trying to, I wanted to get out earlier, but it just never happened. Uh, so like I said, I was pulling everything out of the truck and I got it all in a box here. And I said, well, I better hurry up and do that because if I throw it in my service truck, it's going to be lost and then it's probably won't happen. So, so anyways, uh, guys, like I said, I'm not, uh, I'm not driving anymore. I mean, uh, we're doing, we're got, going more to the maintenance side, maintenance business, working on heavy equipment, trucks, uh, iron equipment and all that. Um, so I'm not going to be here and pretend like I'm still driving. You know, I'm not a YouTube millionaire and all that. Uh, so I haven't quit my day job. Um, like a lot of people have and uh, still trying to uh, take it till you make it, I guess. So anyways, I uh, uh, just want to get that out there to you guys. Uh, I've got a lot more. I've got about 20, 25 other topics that I haven't uh, done yet. So as I so I had a rainy day today and I couldn't really do anything outside. So I figured it'd be a good day to get this done. Um, anyways, uh, like I said, guys, we appreciate all the support. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the bell for the updates. Like the video. Um, you know, on this channel, we're doing more. Uh, we still got a lot of trucking business and uh, trucking related stuff to put out and um, kind of going more towards the maintenance repair side and all that. Uh, so it's kind of come as we go with what we deal with out there every day on the, uh, the roads and all that. And um, so that's pretty much what this channel is doing. On the other channel, if you guys are interested in farming, uh, farm equipment and uh, working on stuff, animals and all that, we've moved that over to a different channel, which uh, my wife always puts that that uh, other channel link in the uh, subject line or uh, description down there. Sorry, I had a loss there. Uh, anyways, uh, like I said, we appreciate all the support. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.